Greetings from the alternative space here at Washington Avenue Christian Church. I'm Mark Mathis, chair of the board, and I would like to call this virtual congregational meeting to order. This meeting is to approve our budget for 2022. This proposed budget is presented to the congregation for approval by the board who approved it at its December meeting in accordance with our Constitution. This space here symbolizes some of the ways in which we have changed and adapted as a church. And I wanted to open the meeting here. This space is now part of us. And the alternative service on Wednesday evenings are part of us as well. This space and service is different. It's not for everyone. It's not intended as a substitute for our traditional Sunday morning service. But it helps us reach people that a traditional service may not reach. With the technology that we now have for both services, we can, can and do reach people in places all over the country that we could not have imagined even two years ago. This new space and service is one reason I'm happy and thrilled to be a part of a church that is willing to try and do new things and to move into the future. Another way we are able to move into the future is with this virtual congregational meeting. Many of us are worshiping virtually, and many of us are worshiping in person. All of these choices, for whatever reason, are good and holy. I made the decision to hold this meeting with voting virtually, as we did one year ago, in order to give all members an opportunity to participate and vote. Your participation is wanted and needed, not just for this meeting, but for the life of the church. These are exciting days in the life of our church, and I have hope for the things God will enable us to do. Lori Warfield, chair of the Stewardship Committee, and Dan Walker, church treasurer, will continue with some great news for the present and the future. Thank you for your part in this ministry. Peace. Greetings, dear church. I feel compelled to offer my sincere admiration and appreciation for your financial support of God's mission through the ministries of Washington Avenue Christian Church. When the Stewardship Committee met to compare budget requests, pledges, and last year's spending, we aspired to continue to seek God's future. I am thrilled to announce that our commitment to financial stewardship has exceeded expectations and made bold and courageous goals possible. First, we increased the outreach budget above and beyond the percentage increase to the total budget. Our resolve to empower ministries from our doorsteps to the ends of the earth is a hallmark of our church. Second, we are taking a conservative approach with our permanent funds by reducing our draw from six and a half to 4%, which follows the recommendation of the Christian Church Foundation and is supported by our permanent funds trustees. This decision provides for the growth of funds that generations of saints have seeded for our church's future. Third, we have budgeted to hire a director of youth and youth adult ministries a position that is vital to developing the faith of our youth and growing the future church generations. I am convinced that we will continue to discover new ways to participate with hope, joy, and gratitude as we worship together. Your gifts are wanted and necessary as we seek the path God wants and ultimately will have. You are a beloved part of this congregation and I give thanks to God for your faithful discipleship and grateful stewardship. 
My name is Dan Walker, <clears throat> excuse me, and I currently serve as treasurer for Washington Avenue Christian Church. Mark and Lori have already given you the broad outlines of our 2022 stewardship campaign. So I'm here to give you a look at the numbers. First, let's take a look at the income side of the equation. What we are looking at is a comparison of our 2021 plan versus the new 2022 plan. The first thing that you see is that the envelope offering shows an increase from 210,000 to 226,000. What a tremendous response by you, the congregation, to the mission and ministry of Washington Avenue Christian Church. Your commitments have increased by 7.8%, even higher than the official 2021 inflation index of 5.9%. Way to go. Second, as Lori pointed out, the permanent fund trustees have recommended that we reduce our 2020 draw from our permanent funds from 6.5% to 4%, which is the level recommended by the fund managers at the Christian Church Foundation to ensure long-term health of our permanent funds. As you can see, this has resulted in quite a reduction of our total anticipated income from nearly 311000 to slightly over 300000 a 3.4% reduction. As the stewardship committee saw this income process coming into focus, we were understandably a little nervous as we awaited the arrival of the expense estimates from the elders and the committee chairs. So now let's take a look at the estimates of the level of expense it will require for the day-to-day -day operation of Washington Avenue Christian Church. First, Lori has already mentioned the 5.9% cost of living increase for all of our paid staff and the prospective hiring, hiring of a new director of youth and young adults. These changes are readily apparent in the staff salaries line, reflect, reflecting an overall 8.9% increase. Everything else remains fairly stable, except for an increase in worship and music, which largely re reflects the increased cost of the prepackaged communion cups that we now use and a one-time cost of up to $1,500 in the stewardship budget to perform a review of our financial processes and controls to ensure we have adequate controls in place. So at the bottom line for the non-outreach expenses, we see a total of nearly $314,000, a 7.5% increase over the 2021 plan. Finally, one of the hallmarks of Washington Avenue has historically been our dedication to outreach, both budgeted outreach and our use of special offerings. Lori also mentioned our desire to increase our budget at outreach levels, which you can see here as an 8.1% increase over 2021. When you add it all together, we have a spending plan of $348,367 a nearly 7.6% increase over our 2021 plan. Given our projected income of $300,271 that I went over earlier, that leaves us with a projected shortfall of slightly over $48,000. This is a pretty scary picture. Our saving grace for our 2022 plan is our end of 2021 carry over balance of over $63,000, leaving us with a projected 2022 surplus of 15540 However, 2021 was a unique for year for us. Without going to, into all the specifics, suffice it to say that we exceeded our income plan, we underran our expense plan, and we received an anticipated, unanticipated $33,000 from the federal government via the payroll protection program as part of the COVID relief after efforts. So in summary, we look to be in great shape for 2022, and I highly recommend that, not, that you vote to approve this budget plan. 
However, a quick word of caution here. Please do not take this good news for 2022 as a reason to be unconcerned or less vigilant about the future. As we look ahead to planning for 2023, the Stewardship Committee does not expect a repeat of our large 2021 carryover. In addition, there are a number of societal trends in overall church giving that also give rise to concern. So before I close, on behalf of the Stewardship Committee, I would like to offer a sincere thank you to all who have been involved in this process. This includes Pastor Nathan and Diana Tyler, the elders, and all of the operating committees of Washington Avenue Christian Church. Last but not least, a great big thank you to all of you, the congregation, for your continuing support to the mission and ministry of Washington Avenue Christian Church. One final note, if any of you would like to see all of the gory details that make up the summary levels that I presented, please contact the church office and we'll, we will be glad to send it to you. Thank you.